بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so by default this is the way it will calculate and if you want to verify this you can use show ip ospf interface brief where you can see the interfaces you have and what are the cost present on those interfaces like if i go to my topology like on the router 1 i'll try to verify the cost values on both the routers both the interfaces so either i can use show ip ospf interface brief brief command doesn't work in the packet tracer so you can try this in the genus or on the physical devices so i just use ospf uh, interface which list all the interfaces and you can see this is my gig ethernet link which is showing the cost of one and if you come down a little bit you can see the serial link the cost is 64 so this is like the default cost because the default bandwidth present on this interface is 1544 and the default bandwidth here is uh, like 1000 mbps like 1 gig right it's a gig link so this cost whatever the cost i'm writing here this is going to influence based on the bandwidth like the g0 by 0 interface the bandwidth is 1 gig so what if i change the bandwidth so let's say now again one one more thing you need to know here is whatever the bandwidth you have on the interface that is going to be used in the calculation like let's say if i am changing the bandwidth on this interface let let me just quickly go to the interface g0 by 0 and i'm going to change the bandwidth let's say the bandwidth command is 1544 so basically the bandwidth value we give in kbps so 1544 kbps that is nothing but equivalent to serial serial bandwidth so when i do this automatically it will influence the cost if you verify show ip ospf interface now even though i'm using gig ethernet link because that is a default transmission speed it supports but again in the production networks even though you are using gig ethernet link or maybe let's say i'm using this wan link uh, maybe it's not exactly 1 gig so it it might be you know uh, something like let's say it just supports it in 15 mbps let's say so in that scenarios you really want to change the bandwidth and depending upon that the cost values will automatically change so the cost value which is derived by default it it will be based on the interface bandwidth and if you don't define any bandwidth again as i said one example you can consider as let's say if i am connecting my pc in my home and i am connecting to my internet or the service provider from where i am getting the internet and even though i am connecting my nic card which i use in my computer let's say it supports 100 mbps port so it's not like that you get a speed of 100 mbps so whatever the speed or the bandwidth you can, you will be offered depending upon the line you purchase let's say i'm paying for 15 mbps so i'll be getting a maximum transmission speed to not exceed 15 mbps right but at the same time it also means that this interface can support up to 100 mbps so but again there is nothing like calculation required here because we are not really deciding any best routes but in case of ospf when you are taking the same example in terms of ospf when i'm connecting gig ethernet link the default transmission speed will be 1 gig like you can say 1000 mbps so default this will be the interface bandwidth so it is going to use when it is using the formula or calculating the cost it is going to derive based on the default uh, bandwidth interface bandwidth but most likely even though you are connecting this gig link maybe from the service provider you are just getting 100 mbps of speed or the wan speed so it's it's recommended you go to the interface and change the bandwidth basically the same bandwidth what is being uh, provided by the service provider so that when it calculates the best route it will always uh calculate track correctly like I'll, i'll i'm going to say that 15 mbps so i can just go and say 1500 probably in kbps right so 1544 uh, basically we give in kbps so which means if i need to give 
Mbps, so probably I need to say something like this in Kbps. Okay, so we need to change this accordingly. Okay, so if you don't change that, then that can influence, that can actually impact the decisions. So that's the reason, especially on the WAN links, it's not required on the LAN links, but on the WAN links, you generally need to do that. Okay, so this is how the OSPF uh, calculates the cost values. And we can verify that by using this show IP OSPF interface brief, or you can use show IP OSPF interface also, that will be sufficient in general. And these are the cost values, depending upon the bandwidth you set on the interface, you get these cost values. So if I'm setting 128 kbps, the cost value will change to 781. 